Okay, quickly before I end the video, because I know some of you guys are probably dying to know, just like I was. Um, just bear with me here because I'm controlling two controllers by myself. But um, there are answers to the problems we're having in the video. So if the opponent is trying to do the like conversion switch, so let me show you what that looks like, just so you know what we're talking about. So if I'm do trying to do my resets, and I'm trying to go for the that situation, the opponent can land down and they'll actually punish me trying to go for the thing. So if I'm going, um, even if, uh, yeah, so. Tanjiro drops in and punishes me for trying to go for that reset. But um, the answer to that is, you can actually just go for the grab resets, and the grab resets will work on guard or on hit. So if I'm going for this, and I go that into the grab, that will work against the opponent trying to switch out with their sidekick on guard or on hit. So I can go for... So if I get Sabito to be guarding here... And as you can see, they were switching out as soon as they can, but Starbito wasn't able to jump up off the screen yet, and he gets grabbed by the grab, and it goes into the cinematic, and it actually hits, hurts the active player, even though they technically switched into Tanjiro. I don't really understand why it works, but I'm glad it does, because it gives uh, Inosuke something to do in this situation. And on hit, obviously, it works as well. But um, it's cool that it works even on block. I was not expecting it to work on block, so yeah. Even with, you know, it's not as plus on block as it is on hit. But um, yeah, that's, that's that's very powerful and good to know that the grab is practically guaranteed. And then when we're talking about the grab, there's basically no way to get out of the grab. The opponent can technically, um, they're very fast. They can, oops, they can kind of do a neutral jump out of it. So if they just jump straight out upwards, they can kind of get away from the grab on, um, oops. So they can get off of that, but I find that pretty tricky to do. I tried to get it consistently, and I can only get it about 50% of the time. And it has to be directly jumping upwards, or else there's a little bit of a change in the frames that it takes to jump, because they walk sideways slightly forward, so you just have to do a neutral jump. And then you probably will be able to get a punish on Inosuke, because you'll jump up and be able to get a neutral combo like this. So if you think Inosuke is going to go for the grab, you can do that. And... Um, but that's pretty tricky. Another option that the opponent has, which is like practically guaranteed against almost all of the options, like whether it's the um this into this or this into this, is Inosuke has always the option. I mean, the opponent always has the option. Oops, of going into their ultimate. Sorry, this is a bit a little bit hard to time. But they can always go into the ultimate, and it'll punish whichever one he does, whether it's a grab. Oops. Wait, I'm pretty sure they can go for an ultimate here. Oops. Maybe they can't go for an ultimate there? Is there not enough time for them to do that? Damn, okay, it doesn't seem like they have time to fit in the activation for the ultimate in this at all. That is kind of ridiculous. So that grab is practically guaranteed unless they can time the jump on it. But um, if it is on block, I imagine it's not guaranteed because that would just be ridiculous. Yeah, so the opponent can go for an ultimate in most situations, except for the grab on hit, which is kind of weird. But Inosuke does actually also have an answer to that. If Inosuke has any meter himself, he can actually do the side, uh, the sidekick switch gimmick, which um, I think is pretty fun and pretty ironic, since that's the problem that brought us here in the first place. So if I am doing my stuff and trying to go for my resets, and oops, they did an ultimate. And the opponent is ult matching ultimate. You can just switch into your opponent on reaction because you know you get the kind of the screen freeze when the opponent does this, and you have time just to switch out into your new person and you just land behind them. So that is super awesome. You do have to. Sorry, it's a little hard because I'm having to switch controllers while I do it, but I promise it's something you can definitely do on reaction because you see the freeze and you just hold down the button. You land behind them. You get a e free easy combo. And, um, Bobbly Runkle. Inosuke's resets are not as bad as I was scared they would be for a second there in that video. But, uh, yeah. I'll cut back to the end of the video. Thanks for watching!